Hello, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. The original form of a natural stone wall is a dry stone wall. A dry stone wall consists of only slightly processed quarry stones, which are set in a wall without mortar and thus dry. In general, it is built as a retaining wall to secure embankments or terraces on sloping terrains. Nico and Vangeli are building a dry stone wall out of porphyry quarry stones. Before getting to work, they first measured and marked out the course of the wall. Then they dug 40 centimeters deep for the foundation. The foundation and the wall should be on a solid ground if possible. Then gravel was brought in and compacted in layers. It makes sense to form the gravel foundation surface at the angle of the inclination of the wall, so that the first row of stones has the correct incline. Because the stones have to be placed with a slightly inclination towards the slope. The incline can be between 5 and 20% of the wall's height. For this, the two stone experts have put up taut string lines. The stones are placed with the narrowest possible joints and a slight incline towards the embankment. The string serves as a guide and can be raised up with the stone rows. The porphyry stone material used here is rarely used for this type of wall. This stone is very hard and difficult to work with. Unlike sandstone, for example, the porphyry cannot be split into layers so that the stone thicknesses are unworkable. Cavities under larger stones can be underlaid with stone wedges or stone splinters so that they won't wobble. The remaining gaps should be closed by suitable small stones.
The empty space to the ground behind is to be filled with drainable stone material or quarry stones. If slow pressure water is to be expected, a drainage layer made of gravel or crushed stone and, if necessary, drainage pipes for draining off the accumulated water are installed between the slope and the wall. Instead of backfilling the natural stone wall with gravel or crushed stone, it is more common, according to the traditional construction method of vineyard walls, to install quarry stones as a backup wall at the same time as the visible stones are placed. This method not only increases the stability and durability of the wall, but also helps to drain off the accumulating water. Back in the Middle Ages, the wine growers laid out terraced vineyards on the slopes with the help of dry stone walls. Nowadays, natural stone walls are very popular because they meet high aesthetic requirements, blend harmoniously into the garden or landscape, and are ecologically valuable as they provide habitat and shelter for numerous animals and plant species. Now the wall is so high that the string has to be extended. It is important that the strings are attached horizontally level, as this is how the joints will be aligned.
This wall is intended to terrace the slope. In addition, it is supposed to enclose the emerging plant terrace. That means that it is built up about 50 centimeters without backfilling. For safety reasons, lime mortar is used here to prevent stones from falling down. The wall is finished and I hope you enjoyed this video. On my channel you will find other videos about natural stone walls. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. I'm Colin Handscape Guy.